Hello, my boys and girls on fire. How have you been? I trust you had a fantastic week. Last week, we started a new series and we talked about an honorable man. Can you tell me who that is? Do you remember? Did you say Jabez? Fantastic. Yes, it was Jabez we talked about last week. We talked about how he turned his identity from causing pain into a more desirable man. So much more, he was more honorable than his brothers. He refused to be labeled what others called him. Instead, he pressed and focused into his true identity, which comes from God. Kings and queens, your true identity comes from God, not from what situation or people labels it. You are who God says you are. You are special to him. He has called you special. You're extremely valuable and he cherishes you. All you have to do is to believe in yourself based on your true identity by being the best in school, at home, wherever you find yourself. You are well behaved. You're respectful. You're honest. You're kind. You're nice. So much more everyone wants to be like you. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Now, I need to know if you've been practicing all you've been learning. Have you been conscious of how special you are to God? Have you been pressing into your true identity like Jabez? Do you believe in yourself just like God? Did you say yes to all these questions? If you did, I am super proud of you. And you know what? God is also so proud of you. Jabez asked God for help. And with God's help, he was able to turn his story around. Remember, you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. So you are blessed. You know what that means? It means you are better than Jabez. Right? I'm sure that's a wonderful feeling. So today, we're going to be learning about how Jabez asked God for more. Because with God, there is much more. So my boys and my girls on fire, I need you to stand up. Let us pray this God who can give us much more than we can ask, think, or imagine. Hallelujah!
excited I will be learning more about Jabez today. There is so much to learn. Now think about this. You know when you receive that special gift from someone and you really like the gift. You just can't seem to get enough of it. You keep it all the time and you want it in your present. Also on your birthday celebration, you're so excited. You have friends and family around. There's so much celebration. There is fun. There is food. And there are lots of gifts that are given to you that you wish every day could be your birthday. You're not alone with this feeling, you know. I also feel the same way too. Now, by now we've been able to establish that you are special to God. And I hope that you remember. You are so special to God that you have his attention 24-7 meaning every day, every minute, every second. He has created you in such a special way and he has put so much detail on your inside that he wants you to showcase to the world to see. There is so much more to you. You don't only hold God's attention 247, but he wants to showcase you to the whole world, making you a center of attraction for everyone to see. The question is, do you truly know how special you are in God's eyes? 
Do you truly appreciate what makes you different? Do you want to become all that God has called you to be? Truly flying high like a boy on fire and a girl on fire. Now that exactly was the driving fuss for Jabez that made him refuse to settle for less. The world labeled him differently. He could have been shabby and unattractive like this box. But guess what he did? He cried out to the God of Israel, the God he knew loved him so much and wanted the very best for him. Now that God is the same God of yesterday, today and forever. And to you, he's no longer just the God of Israel. He's your father, he's your friend, and he cares so much for you. He has placed so much on your inside, like this beautiful gifts, that he wants to be unwrapped for the whole world to see. Now his plan is that every day you are unwrapped so beautifully and you get to reflect more and more of God on your inside. The same way you feel so good and can't get enough of good gifts, that's exactly how much God has placed so much on your inside that he wants the world to see. And he wants them not just to see it, but to be blessed by you. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that awesome? Now, are you ready to show those gifts that God has placed on your inside? Follow me and let's go and learn how to do that. I love to memorize scriptures because it helps me remember the promises and goodness of God. Do you love your memory verses as well? This memory verse is extra special. The more you declare it, and the prayer in verse 10, the more God continues to do great things through you. Are you ready to recite this with me? Are you my boys and girls on fire? My soldiers for Christ. Are you ready? Great. Now jump on your feet and let's do this together. I will go first and then you will go next. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hands be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Are we excited, guys? Are we excited, my boys and girls on fire? Guess what? I want us to do this using our hand motions. Can we try this? Great! Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I can be free from pain and God granted his request. Can we do that one more time? Are you ready? All right now. First Chronicle chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. First Chronicle chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, "Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory." Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I can be free from pain. And God granted his request. Can we try that one more time? Let's do it one more time. Okay? First Chronicle chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, Oh, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. That was fun, right? That was exciting. I had so much fun learning our memory verse. Do me a favor, keep practicing till we we'll meet next week. Special boys and girls, it's Bible reading time again! Are you excited? Awesome! We're reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 
verse 8 to 18. The book of 2 Corinthians can be found in the New Testament, right after the book of 1 Corinthians and just before the book of Galatians. These books were written by Apostle Paul as letters to the early church. Have you found 2 Corinthians? Are you at chapter 3? Let's read verse 8 to 18 loud and clear. Are you ready? Let's go, guys! 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 8 to 18. Since all this is true, won't the work of the Holy Spirit be even more glorious? The law that condemns people to death and glory. How much more glory does the work of the Holy Spirit have? His works make people right with God. The glory of the God of the old covenant is nothing compared with the far greater glory of the new. The glory of the old is fading away. How much greater is the glory of the new? It will last forever. Since we have that kind of hope, we are very bold. We are not like Moses. He used to cover his face with a veil. That was to keep the people of Israel from seeing the end of what was passing. But their minds were made stubborn. To this very day, the same veil remains where the old covenant is read. The veil has not been removed. Only faith in Christ can take it away. To this very day, when the law of Moses is read, a veil covers the mind of those who hear it. But when anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Holy Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, freedom is also there. No, none of our faces are covered with a veil. All of us can see the Lord's glory and think deeply about it. So we are being changed to become more like him so that we have more and more glory. And this glory comes for the, from the Lord who is the Holy Spirit. Wow, there is indeed much more with God. As you yield yourself continually to him, you become more and more like God. And according to today's Bible reading, when you become more and more like God, you reflect more and more of his glory by the help of the Holy Spirit on your inside. Hallelujah! Glory connotes high renown or honor won by notable achievements, magnificence and great beauty, an impressive life worthy of praise. God's plan for your life is to reflect his glory everywhere you go. Your achievements and everything you do are so notable that you are a child of great honor. Doesn't this remind you of Jabez? Yes, Jabez was more honorable than all his brothers. When your friends, your family, your parents and everyone around you observes you, God wants them to be highly impressed and have no choice than to praise him for how special honorable and great you are. Can you remember Moses? Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt where they had been enslaved for 400 years. Moses was born at a very difficult time where all the male children were being killed. But God preserved him miraculously. The princess of Egypt took him and raised him in the palace. Moses was raised and labeled an Egyptian. But as he grew up, Moses refused to compromise on his identity. He refused to stay in his comfort zone. He wanted to be labeled an Israelite. So he stepped out on his own and tried to help the Israelites and that got him into trouble. Moses had to flee from Egypt into the wilderness where he beheld the glory of God. Moses encountered God in the wilderness and God empowered him and gave him a special assignment to go challenge Pharaoh and take the people of Israel out of Egypt into the promised land that he had prepared for them. 
Moses encountered God daily in the wilderness. He reflected God's glory and miracles. Moses was not just special. The people were mega blessed because of Moses. Moses did great things for God. Do you remember the pattern of the Red Sea? As Pharaoh let the people of Israel go with so much riches from Egypt, Moses reflected so much of God's glory that even his face shone brightly. Wow! Yet, the Bible says that the glory Moses reflected is nothing compared to the glory you are capable of showing forth by the help of the Holy Spirit on your inside. This is amazing. This is phenomenal. If you can get this and push to reflect God's glory like he planned for you to, you cannot but stand as signs and wonders. Remember our daily confession. The world is amazed and blessed by my speed of growth and level of understanding and impact. Rise on your feet, boys and girls on fire, and declare this boldly with me. I am special. I am blessed. I am honorable. I reflect God's glory increasingly every day. At home, in school, in church, and everywhere I go, I live an impressive and impactful life that makes people praise God with great joy. Come on, let's say that together. I am special. I am blessed. I am honorable. I reflect God's glory increasingly every day. At home, in school, in church, and everywhere I go, I live an impressive and impactful life that makes people praise God with great joy. Praise God. God's glory is about to show forth in your life like never before. Get ready for your influence to grow in school, at home, and everywhere you find yourself as God enlarges your territory. Now, boys and girls on fire, I want you for the next five minutes to pray to God like Jabez did. I want you to cry out to God like Jabez. I want more. I want you to tell God specifically what you want, what you need. Get on your feet, boys and girls on fire. Dream big. Come on. Just like Jabez, your prayer can make a difference.
Our Father, we declare that we are blessed in you. Let our lives reflect your glory more and more in a magnificent way. Oh Lord, let people experience you through us differently and specially. We trust you to enlarge our territory. Amen. Wow, that definitely was an awesome time in God's presence. I am very certain that as you go forth this week, you are conscious of reflecting God's glory so that his name can be praised and glorified. Now take a look at all that I have here. With me here, I have a horse. These horse represents the never ending indefinite supply of God's blessings. And with me here also are jars. These jars represent you and I, our needs, our desires, and our requests. Now let's see what we can make do with this. Follow me closely. Now, did we all pray the prayer of Jabez? Did you ask God for more? Did you ask him to enlarge your capacity? And did you ask him to expand your opportunities so that you can share your special gifts and talents with the world and the name of the Lord can be praised and glorified? You do know that you're special, right? You were created by the Almighty God so that you can be his representative here on earth, so that you can share your special giftings and abilities with the world and so that the name of God can be praised and glorified at all times. Now, follow me closely to see what we can make do with the tools that I have here. Can anyone remember what I said these holes stands for represents? And can any other person remind me what I said these jars are? All right, let me help you. I did say that these holes represent the never-ending supply of God's blessings. Do we remember I said that? Awesome. And I said that these jars represent you and I, our requests, our needs, and our desires. You see that I am filling these jars with the never-ending supply of God's blessings. And this is my smallest jar. <gasps> oh my God! This jar is filled up already. And the blessings of God is still flowing. <sighs> what do I do? <sighs> Who can help me out here? What do I do? Mm, all right, I have an idea. I will just increase the size of my jar to something bigger. Let's see what happens here. Follow me closely. Hmm. The blessings of God ever flowing. Oh my goodness, this jar is filled up also and the blessing of God is still flowing. What do I do again? Okay, I will just keep increasing the size of my jar i'll just i'll just keep doing that wow wow can you see what is happening i am increasing the size of my jar even though i'm increasing the size of my jar the blessings of god is never ending it flows always wow to the next and this is even my biggest jar Wow! Oh my goodness! The blessings of God constantly flowing. Constantly flowing. And my biggest jar is filled up already. Oh my God! And the blessings of God hasn't even stopped. I still have more! I still have more, but I am out of jars. Can you see what just happened here? I keep pouring God's blessings into these jars. They keep 
filling up and the supply of God's blessings never ends. It is the same way with you and I. The more we ask of God to increase our capacity for more, the more opportunities we have to share our giftings and abilities with the world. Now, you can see that with this jar, the content of this jar can barely be shared with one or two people, right? But you see with this one, I can definitely share this with more than two people. It is the same way with the blessings of God in our lives. The more of God's blessings that we have in and within us, the more we are able to share these giftings and talents and skills with the world. And the more we are able to do this, the more the name of the Lord is glorified and praised. The more we keep asking God to increase the capacity or territories, the more opportunities we have to share our special giftings and talents with the world. The more we do this, the more the name of the Lord is glorified and praised. Remember that you are special. And with God, you can ask of him anything, absolutely anything, because the supply of God's blessings is never ending. You just need to keep asking because with God, there is more. Remember, you are special. You were created by God to be his representative here on earth. And you can ask God of absolutely anything. You just need to keep asking. With God, there is more.